Hey guys, I'm, you know, back again. And these are finally out. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. And they changed the raid elements. I might go on a run, but I don't know if I want to. Maybe. It's a maybe. I've never done one before. So it might be weird for me. But I probably need an earth and spirit armor. I was hoping they kept the water and earth armor. I would have definitely went on the run if they did. So now it's just a maybe. Uh, let's see if it runs until February 27th. So we have two weeks. Uh, two weeks. Like last time. With a Christmas one. Epic. All. It's like. It's exactly like the Christmas one. Like it's all an epic. Like the crafting material. We have this, we have player versus player event. Uh, February 16th through 23rd. So that's once Friday comes. Then we have a second one. We have two of them. And on February... Alright, that's just the spawn. Raid boss that's coming up. The Guild War. That's in like a week or two. Then we have the Lunar Epic Boss. Then we have the Tear Spender. Like, the Tear Spender, like, it's kind of away from all of the other events. Like, it's after the the raid. So, like, you won't, like, you know, get anything from raid. And it's, like, before the Guild War. So, like, you have nothing to spend anything on. So the tear spinner is probably useless. Unless they come out with chests that people will buy. What else do we have? We have these right here. This armor right here. It all looks confusing, honestly. Like, I don't get it that much. What is this? Why am I loading for no reason? Alright, I guess we're just going to wait. For my loading to finish all right the armor are available in the event raid blah 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 so these are the armors available in like the raid and stuff so this isn't the one wait build your armor i'm pretty sure they said something about earth and air earth and water and earth and something else Pretty sure they said you can craft like three of those or something. Oh yeah. Oh, this is it. I get it now. That's why it has the question mark. So this armor, you can craft any one you want. Like earth and water, earth and air. Oh, I see. That's pretty nice. I'm no longer confused. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to get the first armor. Oh crap, we're losing. Oh God. I'm going to have to power it. I hate... Why do they do this? <laughs> like... Uh, why did I even... This is probably an easy win. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so I have the first armor. I should have it. Right here. I also wanted to like, because I only need five more of these and there's five here. I wanted to do this, but that's a lot of gems. And look at this milestone. Like, this one from this one. It's like a lot of points away. It's like 65,000 points difference. And the rest are closer. Anyway, so I have one of the armors. Let's see how it looks. Let's see these stats. Oh, what? <laughs> That's awesome. They put, where do I get this from? Anyway, they put first strike and double strike that's awesome 
that makes it that makes first strike useful now like because if you hit first strike not it, it won't be like really that useful on like a raid boss but like say if you say if they add like a new area or something like for the like the main quest or whatever and you do first strike and if you kill it first then you won't get like any damage like you won't get damaged and then you because you get first strike and double strike a 10% chance for well a 10% chance for first strike and 8% chance for double strike I was hoping that if they wanted to make first strike like more people like it that they'd have to up it like they'd have to make it more percentage Well, the armor isn't too bad. I, I think everyone will be able to get this one. So this one isn't like that special because everyone will have it, honestly. So let me see if they have more. I wonder where we... Oh, yeah, the they said the ring and amulets are going to be in chests. Let me check that right quick. I don't think there's any new chest. Nope. I remember you, little guy. Jackpot. Rip to that chest. Let's see if I can enhance it or something. Boom, boom. Where is it? Crap. Actually, I might not enhance it. I don't want any issues already. All right, so we're going to go to the crafting thing. We're going to check out the other armors. We're going to see what it takes. Look, I still, have two, I still have two of these that I can craft. I had gotten two of those T10s. I would have loved it. So this time I'm going to go for three T10s of the other armor because I want all of the elements. Every single one of them. Still need one of these. Still need three of these. I don't care about these, but, you know, they're there. Phoenix feathers. I need five of these, as I said. I'm going for this one, of course. The, yeah. Let's see, where are they? Where are they? I collected a few already because I was doing it like before I started recording. It's like all the way in the back. Right here. For this one, you need 50. And for this one, you need a lot. You need 500. This is just a raid. I don't know if it has anything to do with the... I don't know if it has anything to do with anything. Alright, so this one is called Exil Gal and this one called Low Gal. Low Gal. Alright, I can't... Okay, this right here, Low Gal. That's Exil Gal. So the fire is Low Gal and the spirit is Exil Gal. All right, I'm trying to figure this out, but I'm still a bit confused. So you have to fuse that with that. But how do we get this again? All right, I'm going to click it and like read it to see. I think you get it in like the raid stones, um, the raid boss milestone and stuff like that two weeks three keys will be made available through the weekend raid. oh yeah i remember three keys raid boss the arena and the weekend guild war each key will open one open a special chest containing your basic lunar new year so you get three the three oh yeah i remember now I remember now, like you get three of these armors, you have to fuse it with the original one, 
like with the one that you get from the keys, you get three keys. Like, you get to like fuse it, the three keys. Like you have to fuse the XOA something, whatever they're called. And yeah, just you can pick which combination you want. I guess something like that. Two different future armors would be, be able to. Be You can use one of the fusion armors to tear up your lunar gear. Armor to tier 8. Crafting blah 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 will cost. You can also use the second. From. Oh I see. So we have to use the first one. The one that costs 50 shards. So we have to get that one. You have to use that, those to get it to tier 8. And then we have to use the one that costs 500 shards to get it to T10. So that's how it works. It's much more simpler, but like it's kind of complicated. Like if you don't think about it. So that's how that works. And then yeah, we all have to contribute. So we're going to try to find one of these bosses and then we're going to end the video. To show you guys how to look. I usually do this one. I use Leech Strike, but... The other thing is fine too, um, Shatter Shield is fine. I prefer Elite Strike though. Here goes the shiny boss. Here it goes. It's fire and earth for some, I mean it's fire and air for some reason. So this is it, shiny. I'll take a screenshot of it. Uh, you have to hit it with your special attack. If you don't hit it, like say if you like, uh, like you hit one with your special attack and another one spawns in the next thing. Sometimes you can get lucky, and like I think if it's a critical, like if you critical hit it, like you get it sometimes, like you get the material sometimes. Yeah, let me show you guys. Those are the two. All right, so that was it. I'm going to see if I can spine it one more time. It's better if you guys like do these stages, like this stage or this stage. Because you get two from these. These are the stages I will be doing. Oh yeah, and like last, the last event, we should do a race. See who gets it first. If you spend money for it, it doesn't count. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. I just hate waiting on the spawn rate. That's going to be the most annoying part. There's one stage I think the armor doesn't, I mean, that I think the boss doesn't show up on. I don't think it shows up on this one right here. I've never seen it like show up on this one when I did the Halloween one. I tried it too. I tried every stage to see which one like gets me like more um more whatever more of a higher spawn rate right so we have them again there we go well thanks for watching I tried my best to explain it if you like leave a like if you haven't already subscribed please and thank you. Boy, bye.